Thank you so much. You know, you are a human, amazing human being and an amazing uh, stock picker. Always a total pleasure and delight. You know, you know, Hi guys, welcome to another edi- edition of Fantastic Talks. It's great to have all of you here, and uh, thank you as always. You know, the, you have to start with gratitude. I am really grateful to all of the, all of you who take out time to watch these talks, and uh, the fact that you watch them and we are getting such a great viewership, so that keeps us getting uh, keeps us motivated and uh, keeps us going. So. so guys it's great to be here it's great to be with you so in this uh, next edition of fantastic talks while we have been picking up uh, uh, you know on wealth creation so we are now this this time we are going to pick up a talk of topic of wealth preservation now the reason i wanted to pick up wealth preservation is that it you know creating wealth is important but it is also important to preserve your wealth or protect your wealth or save your wealth and what we have seen that if you look at any financial crisis in a family all those crises are based on a health crisis so where somebody in the family has a health crisis and then people are going to their relatives they are going to their friends asking for money and or you know or even if they don't ask and they are end up using their lifetime savings and what covid has taught us is that what we have seen in that time that the kind of expenses per family can be humongous because you know covid is a very unique thing where multiple members of a family get affected and what we have also seen is that it is also depends on the genetics to a certain level that's what my feeling is i'm not an expert but what we have seen is that in case of families where people have got hospitalized maybe two or three people have got hospitalized and then their sum in short of that 5 lakh rupees gets wiped out very very quickly or a 10 lakh rupee and this is what i have been communicating in various my fantastic talks ke guys sum in short today less than 20 lakhs is not acceptable and it needs to be even as high as 50 lakhs a crore you need to have a super top up plan so guys today we will be focusing on health insurance why is it very very important for you and what do you need to know about health insurance and how do you get the best out of your health insurance and for this topic we have probably one of the most foremost experts on this topic ravi vishwanath who is the president uh, health for hdfc he has played a you know pivotal role in apollo munich i remember those days where uh, you know where they came up with a policy which didn't have any conditions and they they made a huge breakthrough and and after that he's played very very instrumental roles in various large uh, life insurance and health insurance companies and he's been one of the most innovative people in this so without further ado let me welcome ravi to join us today yeah hi ravi thank you for joining us today and uh, we hope we are able to learn from your uh, in, in innovative thinking uh, on on this topic i think we are having some uh, audio issue uh, ravi can you hear us maybe if you can speak uh... so guys sorry apologies uh, sanjeev am am i audible to you are you able to hear me yes i'm sorry i'm not able to hear you <laughs> so guys we'll have to find an innovative way to uh, work on this and uh, ravi are you able to hear us now
Um, Sanjeev, am I audible now? Yes, you are audible. Yeah. No, I and I hope I'm... <laughs> All right. I'm just going to refresh the page. Give me a moment. So guys, still uh, Ravi is joining. Please apologies for this uh, technical glitch, and uh, and this seems to happen to the best of us. So please accept my apologies. So let me, in the meanwhile, tell you a little bit about uh, our topic today, which is about health insurance. What we want to do. Hi, Ravi. Welcome back. I hope you can hear us now. Ravi, are you able to hear me now? So guys, uh, uh, till we are able to get Ravi, so I was still talking about health insurance. Now, health insurance is one of the most important things that all of us need to look into. And also, we need to start with one of the biggest, uh, you know, uh, fallacy that all of us live in. And I think uh, we have got the audio going with uh, Ravi. So team, if you can bring Ravi uh, from backstage. Hi, Sandeep. Yeah, so superb. So Ravi, we have finally got things going. It's a yeah, great wonderful. pleasure to have you. Today, we are talking about uh, health insurance, which is a very, very important topic. And uh, there is a definite feeling in the air that uh, the wave three is around the corner and it may happen. So, you know, that is something none of us can predict. But what we can do is that we can all ensure that we have a good uh, health insurance with us. And, uh, you know, I wanted, uh, so, you know, we'll get into your background, your life, you as a person. But, uh, you know, I also want to, uh, you know, today cover one topic and that if you can take it up, which is the fallacy of being covered. Now, this is very important that there are a lot of people, especially in the younger age group, who have a fallacy that I am covered through my group insurance plan. Now, let me, you know, this is something I want to clarify to people. Please don't fall for that. Group insurance plan gives you a cover only for an year till you are working with that company and the rates are subject to change every year. You don't have any IRDA uh, sort of a backing of an insurance ombudsman. You cannot dispute a claim other than your company. And at the same time, you may be left, uh, you know, tomorrow you change your job or the company decides to withdraw the group insurance plan and, and you may be left without it. And what has happened is that now most of the companies were giving group insurance plans of only three to five lakh rupees. And what the COVID has shown that this is, you know, not at all enough. So companies did have some floaters, but most of the companies that we see have burnt out of the floaters. Employees have ended up spending 15, 18, 20 lakh rupees on a conservative basis. And they've just got a 5 lakh or with the, even the floaters, uh, they have got 6, 7 lakh. If you're lucky, you may have got the full amount. So guys, you definitely, everyone needs to have uh, individual health insurance. And that is something that we'll be covering today. Please listen to us, understand from us and buy it as early as possible. It is very important. So Ravi, uh, uh, just tell us a little bit about yourself, your journey, Ravi as a person, your family, you know, because we am, we know Ravi as a professional, you know, who leads uh, HDFC Ergo's health insurance business, has played pivotal roles in Tata AIA or, uh, you know, or uh, Apollo Munich. Just tell us a little bit about Ravi as a person. We would love to understand that. Sure, uh, and uh, first of all, thank you very much for inviting me to this program. I've seen some of the earlier editions, and uh, it's a very high standard to live up to. And I hope that uh, I live up to your expectations and your audience's expectations. Uh, so wonderful to be here, and thank you for having me. Um, 
tell you a bit about myself. So I was uh, I was born in Bombay, Mumbai. And I think one of the uh, the most kind of uh, defining experiences in my life has basically been uh, that I've had the privilege of living, studying, and working um, around the world. And I uh, started in Mumbai and then uh, went to Dubai and then Muscat uh, and back to India for a little bit uh, and then uh, to the US uh, for my undergraduate. Uh, studies, which I did in economics, and uh, my MBA, uh, which was in international business. Uh, and so then worked for a, a little bit. Family also, your childhood. Yeah. Were you a naughty guy, boy, or were you a good boy? What What was your childhood no. like? So two things that I liked when I was a child. I loved to read and I loved milk. So <laughs> I used to have a glass of milk and read books. So that was not... Not naughty at all. Uh, I was always the sane one in the book. Uh, not, you know, uh, not getting into trouble, but uh, uh, watching other people get in trouble and enjoying myself. But uh, really, I mean, I was very much from a young age, very much into books and reading and kind of knowledge and curiosity. Uh, and that was what was, uh, what was fun for me. Um, and, you know, schooling was fine. I was a good student. Uh, you know, I was not one of those people who would study 16 hours, 18 hours, 20 hours a day. Uh, I would do as much as I needed to do. Um, and I was uh, a strategic student, uh, you know, doing the things to maximize scores or whatever, because I was much more interested actually in learning. And a lot of the learning came from the textbooks, but also beyond textbooks. Um, so I would try and find time to read other things besides what was just in the textbooks. Um, so that was it. Uh, uh, did my grad school in the U.S. Uh, worked for a bit there, and then uh, when I finished, uh, I had a choice of entering either FMCG uh, with Gillette uh, or uh, an automotive industry uh, or financial services or insurance with uh, AIG, and I chose AIG. Uh, no reason. Uh, they offered me a little bit more money. That I think was at that time the main reason for me to choose them. But also they had a pretty good uh, global management training program, which I kind of got into. Uh, but if I now, at that time, I told myself management training program, now when I think about it, probably money is the reason I joined. Uh, and uh, so in December this year would be 25 years uh, in my career with insurance. So my entire career has been in insurance. Uh, and in fact, as it turned out uh, from the beginning uh, in health insurance, in one way, shape, or form, even if it's a life company, health company, whatever, but always somehow to do with, with health insurance. Um, and um, yeah, and then I worked in the US, uh, worked in the Middle East, uh, worked all over Asia. Uh, and for the last 10 years or so, I've been trying to do my little part to build the health insurance industry uh, in, in India. And uh, that's been a fantastic experience. Uh, and I think, you know, uh, one of the things that I find um, fulfilling uh, in my life is uh, to be able to do what I do uh, in health insurance because, you know, having done it for so long, um, you know, I've seen, you know, you've seen that as well, uh, right? I mean, you see a lot of families that because they have the right protection, they really could get access to the best care and they were kind of financially protected. And unfortunately, you've seen a lot of families that really get destroyed because they did not have the right financial protection at the right time. Uh, and so to go and try and build that uh, protection for people and give people access to the best care and really make sure that those families are protected is just very fulfilling. And, you know, so it's, it's a great way to to live a life and make a living uh, protecting people's lives. So something I, I love doing. Hmm. I mean, superb, Ravi. So Ravi, getting into our audience and the kind of questions that they are asking, there is Mr. Vijay Mishra is asking that question. That group insurance covers uh, till retirement of an employee is asking that question. What would you like to say there? I have already given my views. If you would like to add anything, there. yeah, I I, th I think the answer uh, the problem lies in the statement itself. The group insurance covers till retirement. Uh, what happens beyond that? First of all, right? Uh, a retail policy gives you lifelong coverage, uh, and of course, as we know, people need coverage. You know, you need coverage beyond retirement, and one would argue you need more coverage beyond retirement. But the same point, I think that uh, that you know you were articulating as well. I mean, so 
look, there are many reasons why you may have a group policy today and may not have a group policy today. And if I'm talking about an employer-employee type policy, uh, you could get sick and you may no longer be able to work, um, in which case you don't have group insurance. Uh, you may decide that you don't, you want to be an entrepreneur tomorrow uh, or you want to join the gig economy uh, and then you don't have a group insurance policy anymore. Uh, in fact, one of the key things that you know stops people from moving into the gig economy and entrepreneurship, as we understand from our research, is, oh, what now what do I do? I can't get insurance, I need insurance. Uh, the other thing is in terms of sufficient coverage, as you said, I mean, group policies in the cost have to go up because the claims are so high and uh, companies have their own uh, kind of uh, strategies in terms of how much coverage they can afford to give their employees. Right? Uh, because ultimately it is a benefit that is given and those are always trade-offs, right? I mean, do I give, as, as an HR manager, do I give more, you know, do I give the same coverage, but it costs me more, or do I give a higher raise? And what is going to increase morale? So it's always these trade-offs, and they're always difficult questions. No easy answer to this, but people make those choices. And so tomorrow you might find that your coverage may go down. Uh, you might find that what is covered in the coverage may go down, and so on and so forth. And in any case, it's it's almost certain that your coverage is unlikely to go up. At the same time, the cost of healthcare is going up every year. So, you know, it's fi it's great that you if somebody's working in a company uh, that has got group insurance, fantastic. You may get you may be getting group insurance through, you know, a bank partner or something like that as well. But many ways, it's all good, right? It's good to have that. There is, frankly, no such thing as sufficient cover. At the same time, it's very important that you buy your own cover. If you don't use it, great, just keep it in a cupboard somewhere, because it will be useful to you at some point in the future. Right. So as long as you have it, uh, you have a group cover, fine, use it, but buy a group, buy a retail policy. And I think the most important thing is, is buy it now. Right. One of the questions that people always ask me is, what is the right time to buy health insurance? And my answer is always the same. The right time to buy health insurance was yesterday. And if you did not buy it yesterday, then buy it today. Right. Uh, people need health insurance. And we've seen that with COVID and you know, just the kind of horrific stuff that's been going on uh, in people's lives. You need health insurance. Yeah, so guys, it is very, very important that you need to have your own health insurance. See, group insurance, may it is all depends on the company. Okay, today they are offering it. Next year, they may not. Today, an insurer is underwriting it. Next, may, next year, they may not. Like what has happened on term insurance or the life insurance protection, what has happened is that the life in term insurance rates have gone up very, very high. So I know so many corporates which have stopped their group term insurance policies where term insurance rates are even more than the individual rates. So today, if a person was just depending on term or life insurance for the, on the company, today he's without a cover. Same may happen on health insurance. And health insurance also in wave two, the number of claims have been so high that when the next year renewal is going to come up for the most of these corporates, their premium is going to go through the roof. So they may decide to reduce the coverage or reduce the protection, or they may decide to pay extra premium. But there is always that uncertainty. So as Ravi also said, that look, it's very important that please buy your own individual health insurance at a very young age, where you have no uh, issues or problems at that moment. After four years, you know, all pre-existing diseases start getting covered. And if you remain with an insurance company for eight years, then they can't reject a claim for whatever reason. Now, these are great protections and great benefits that are available to you. But these are only available in an individual insurance plan. Also, what you need to do is if you have a group insurance plan today, there is this concept of super top ups where you can buy these plans which are not covering the first three lakh rupees. So they are giving you coverage from 3 lakhs to 20 lakh rupees or 3 lakhs to 50 lakh rupees, where you are, this, these are called copay, where you pay for the first 3 lakh rupees. So that's also a very good uh, thing to have. So next question is, Vijay is asking this question, which one is better, term insurance or health insurance? So the, <laughs> I like to say, buddy, both of them are important. 
So term insurance is life insurance and health insurance is where you are covering for health. And financial planning का principle होता है safeguard yourself first and then you save others. जैसे वो एरोप्लेन में ट्रैवल कर रहे होते हैं ना दे से पुट योर मास्क ऑन फर्स्ट तो गाइज ऑल दो बोथ आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बट फर्स्ट यू बाय हेल्थ इंश्योरेंस बिकॉज अगर आप हो गए आप हेल्थी हो गए दैट्स वॉट इज ऑल अबाउट ठीक है लाइफ इंश्योरेंस और टर्म इंश्योरेंस पेज वेन यू आर नो लॉन्गर देयर ठीक है सो देयर द पेमेंट हैपन्स वेन यू आर नो लॉन्गर देयर और समथिंग हैपन्स टू यू इट्स इट्स अ पेमेंट फॉर डेथ वेर इज हेल्थ इंश्योरेंस इज अ लिविंग बेनिफिट फॉर यू इट पेज फॉर योर treatment your family's treatment and when you are there and the uh, the aim of health insurance is to make you survive so uh, you know which one is better they are no better you need to have both but first buy health insurance which is a good plan for you and then you buy term insurance also be careful of the fact that uh, you know you need to buy health insurance and term insurance from a team or a company that can support you now people just go and buy online but then who's going to help you with the claim especially in life insurance so at the end of the day your family needs to have some company or some uh, institution behind you to help you with your claim and to a certain level that is required on health insurance also so the aim of these products is not to get the protection but it is to get the claim and so you have when you make your choice you have to Uh, you have to keep in mind that you have to choose a partner who is able to support you on your claims that's very very important now coming to some uh, technical questions we have got a very interesting question from mr sharma ravi and you are a product genius so this is maybe a product idea for you he is asking he says are there any health insurance plans that we pay till retirement and which provides a free cover post that because you know i have more money till i'm before my retirement and i may not have that amount of cash flow post retirement so are there any plans like that what is the thinking and can such plans be created so i think when sarma has kind of uh, hit upon kind of a, one of the holy grails of product design in terms of i would think that every company has been trying to create something like this there are practical problems uh in india uh uh mainly from the fact that uh, medical inflation is not something that is uh, either indexed uh, or not predictable right so if somebody is 40 years old uh, i don't actually know what is the cost of their healthcare uh, you know going to be say 26 years from now when they turn 66 uh, there are possibly some ways to solve this which without giving too much away uh, some of the companies including ourselves are kind of trying to solve uh but uh, i think i mean it's a good idea and the it, it's logical and you know the advantage of some a system like that would be that it would encourage the right behavior which is for people to buy health insurance when they are younger rather than have you know the burden uh when they are older right? i mean i'm uh, serving on a subcommittee on products with iida uh to kind of figure out you know uh, affordable products for senior citizens and the reason that we have to do that is because There aren't any affordable products for senior citizens right now. I think it's a great idea. Uh, so, so noted, and uh, we'll try and give you uh, copyright credit if we ever develop that one. Yeah, Ravi, that's very important. And there is a concept of health savings plans, which is also sure. soon going to be coming, where uh, you know you'll be able to, with the health insurers, be able to save to build up a corpus for your. health emergencies post your requirement see abhi technically i'll tell you the issue the reason insurers are not able to do it because health insurance is issued for one year maximum two years or three years at at one policy and you renew it every year it's a yearly renewable product now when you when you want to do something that is above 60 till 60 and then post coverage those are long term policies which typically are being done by life insurers so that whole combination between a life insurance and a health insurance and health insurance doing long term products this is something which is a under hotly debate hotly debated topic and we would request everyone because this is in trust of every indian citizen that please write to irda that please allow us to bring long term products and it will be good for uh, everyone so ravi uh, the recent product that you have created you have come up with a very innovative product where uh, you know you have tried to built in some of these features where the sum insured keeps increasing uh, over a period of time and actually it becomes cheaper and you have tried to uh, 
you know handle this uh, these challenges to whatever possible in the given environment so why don't you tell us about this product a little bit let's understand this product more sure um give me um, take a couple of minutes uh, so the product is called optima secure uh, last month was its first full month and uh, you know having had the privilege of bringing some products uh, to market in india um, i can say this has been touched with my most successful launch so far not my but our team's most successful launch uh, the product's great now uh, and i think one thing before i describe the product it might just be useful uh, for the audience to kind of understand how we developed the product uh, just as a process right so the what we did was uh, so I mean, we can sit in our kind of boardroom and kind of develop a product and you know some will sell some won't sell we were really keen to understand what are the customers real kind of pain point and um, so what we did was we actually uh, developed 14 different products uh just from our imagination and we then um, went to you know target customers and really sat down and recorded you know their reactions their questions where did they you know we we had an expert kind of evaluate how they were responding to uh, the questions and so on what were they saying and how were they feeling uh, to try and evaluate what were the main uh, pain points or concerns that customers had and three things came up okay uh, the first thing that customer said is we're afraid of running out of cover the same things we talked about with group insurance for example right where people are afraid of running out of cover a lot of people ran out of cover during covid because they thought they had insurance but they did not have enough insurance so running out of cover problem one problem two we want to have a very smooth things versus and problem three is we want to see value for money uh, and we developed our product keeping this in mind of course there were some other requirements and other things as well but i can tell you that you know basis our research we covered 84% of customer requirements in this one product which is quite a bit um the product is very simple uh, what the product does as you said is uh, it gives you increased cover so you know if you buy x amount uh the product gives you four times that coverage in two years so if you buy a 10 lakh policy you're immediately on day one you get another 10 lakhs on top uh you stay with the policy for two years you get another 10 lakhs so now you have 30 lakhs cover all this is guaranteed no additional charge and even if you have a claim so you could have a claim you know in in month one and we will still give you 50% more coverage the next year and double it the year after uh which is actually quite unheard of not only in india but it's actually first in the world uh as is the first benefit which is where we just double the coverage immediately when you buy it uh so those things work together and if you exhaust all that we then restore your base coverage one more time so you buy 10 lakhs get 20 lakhs immediately in two years you you have another 10 lakhs and i have 30 lakhs of coverage use it all up we give you another 10 lakhs so you have 40 lakhs of effective coverage that you can use uh and that kind of solves the first problem the second problem which was i want to be sure that there are enough assets at time of claim uh it's a very clean product we've got one of the largest networks we have over 10000 hospitals they can get cashless um uh, we have removed sublimits in inside the policy uh for example you know many policies have a sublimit for ambulance cover so they say that you know the policy will cover 2000 rupees for an ambulance and we kind of figure that people don't go for a joy ride in an ambulance if they go with this emergency Uh, and we saw in times of covid right where something that cost 2000 suddenly was costing 20000 and 30000 because there was a shortage right so we removed the subject uh you have policies which uh, will for example will limit um, you know uh, the most re- the latest kind of surgeries uh robotic surgeries and stuff because they are expensive uh we said if you want one of the reason you buy insurance is to get the best care so we removed those subjects um uh, we removed all uh, uh uh exclusions on consumables uh, which is a big pain point again with covid right so when people had covid claims they found that a whole bunch of things didn't get paid because they were consumables uh we included them in the policy uh, as a default so we solved the second problem and the third problem we solved one is anyway the product is very very attractively priced we get great value for the premium but we also said uh, going back to the concept that you were talking about earlier about the taxables uh that you know a lot of customers said look i can afford to pay a little bit from a credit card or you know from uh, cash or whatever uh but then i want something in back in return and so this product if you agree to pay it's a choice if you agree to pay 25000 rupees from any claim that you might have in the future we give a 25% discount every year uh of the other policy so you get 4x the coverage 
a completely clean policy with no sublimits, no hidden clauses, and you could get 25% discount, which goes actually up to 50%. So that's in a nutshell the product. Uh, it's done superbly well. Uh, you know, thanks to you and thanks to our other partners uh, in its first one. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited about it. And we're getting great feedback from customers. So Ravi, Optima uh, Secure, as you said, is a very, very innovative product. And I like the fact of that free additional uh, life cover, the health cover that you're giving, the, the you know, we are double, triple. The advantage, guys, they are trying to build in is that when you get that extra life cover, you're not paying, or uh, health cover, you're not paying a cost for that. So if you look at it on a per lakh basis, over the years, your product becomes cheaper. Another one of the innovative things is that a lot of policies have a no-claim bonus, but that bonus goes away the moment you claim. Whereas in this product, the bonus remains right. with you. So what they are saying is, look, if you show loyalty. Now, again, another question, which is very important, Ravi, is that people have bought products long time back. And people think, look, I have bought a health insurance. It's fine. I don't need to review my policy or I don't need to port it to a new product. And even within a company, because you know some company, companies may have older products which give very limited coverage or may have sublimits. And today they have newer products which give much better coverage, have lesser sublimits. Or you know, I, let me take a very sharp example that HDFC Ergo has products today which don't cover consumables. And you have this new product which covers consumables or the, the PPE kits and a lot of other things that may not get covered in other things. So should a person stick on to his plan or sh should a person keep reviewing his plan and port to a better plan when they are available, especially within the same company? Sure, I mean, I'll answer that in, in two ways. I mean, that's a great point. And, you know, I think the more engaged people get with their health insurance, the better they're going to be that they have the protection we need. A big problem that we see, and this is especially true in larger cities, is that uh, people have insurance, but they don't have enough insurance. Uh, because they bought it many years ago, they've never used it, which is good for them. Uh, and they just uh, have forgotten about it and have not reviewed it. This needs to be reviewed. This needs to be reviewed because uh, you don't, uh, you, you know, a static plan doesn't cover for medical inflation. So the cost of healthcare is going up every year. You know, uh, new new technologies are coming in, new treatments are coming in, which are much better, but they cost more money. And so in effect, what's happening, if you don't review your policy, is that the real coverage that you get is going down. Every year. So it's absolutely important to look at the level of coverage. The second is look at what is covered in the policy. A lot of products in the past, uh, you know, so there have been a number of innovations, right? And we've been fortunate to bring some of those to market. Uh, the restore benefit, for example, is something that, you know, was introduced uh, by us many years ago. Now it's become standard, but many people have policies which don't have a restore benefit. Uh, many policies have got, you know, sub -limit. Policies have got, you know, consumables exclusions, as you said. And now, you know, we have the first product which doesn't have it, right? The first of those. So you have to evaluate that. And your point earlier, you know, uh, I think that, you know, you have to go to your trusted advisor who will help you evaluate, you know, what you have versus, you know, what is currently in the market and then figure out what is the right path to move from A to B. There could be many options. One is you keep your existing plan as it is. As Sanjeev said earlier, once you've been with the company for eight years, uh, you know, you, the company really cannot uh, deny your claim unless you've committed fraud. Uh, so maybe you want to do that. And if your health permits, buy a new policy with another company. That's one way to do it. Another way is to upgrade within the same insurer, uh, you know, to another better plan. Uh, so, you know, we have a lot of people, for example, you know, who moved from Easy Health, uh, Health Suraksha, Optima Restore, some of our older products, and they migrated to Optima Secure last year, exactly as, you know, you're suggesting. And of course, the third option does exist, which is that you move lock, stock, and barrel from one insurance company to another which is of course a possibility. And if you're kind of unhappy with the company you're with, uh, or you know, you're not confident about their financial strength, for example, uh, and you want to move, uh, that option does exist. Uh, but I think each of those are poss possibilities. But one thing that is absolutely certain is you must review your policy periodically, make sure that you have the right level of coverage for you. Yeah. So guys, it is very, very important for you to review your policy. 
and as times changing because he as you know ravi has very clearly explained that when there were some policies made when there was no robotic surgery or there were no treatments like the you know there are a lot of very new age treatments they were not there so that policy obviously doesn't cover that some of these things get covered get added over the time but there are a lot of these things which are very expensive and they need to be priced differently so it is important that you review your product and you move to a newer product but preference should always be stick to the same company because if you are there with a company for 8 years then your protection goes up but if as ravi has said look but if you are not happy with the company they have not been servicing right or you think they are not strong enough and there are companies like that they are out there then it is a time for you to change that company get a new right health insurance partner and stay with them also as i said you need it's very important to have a good distributor you know probably that's what i i will market myself and say bajaj capital insurance broking is one of the largest in health insurance is because not because that we sell a product or we help a person buy a product but we help our people at the time of claims where uh, we have a whole, whole huge dedicated team which ensures that look if the there is a problem with the claim let's hope there is not and that only happens in 5% of the cases but if those 5% of the cases we should be able to support our clients to the maximum also guys uh, we have this uh, you know this uh, project we have started it during the covid times where we called a health uh, health insurance review now this is i have seen some people charge uh, phenomenal amounts for this service we are giving it absolutely free as a part of our csr uh, budgets and we are using uh, you know uh, we are doing it as a csr activity where we can give you uh, you know a complete health insurance review from for you whether you have bought a product from bajaj capital or not all you have to do is that if you are interested write to care at bajajcapital.com send your existing policy details yes we are overwhelmed with the number of requests we have got if you have a relationship manager you can ask him so and we will review your policy for you we will tell you what is covered what is not covered what are the coverages that you should be having so let me take one example is that there are a lot of youngsters who have bought a product which doesn't cover maternity because they bought a product because it sounded well or you know it sounded good now today their requirement is because they are going to have children they are going to they are planning for that then why not have a product that covers maternity and this this is this is just one small example and when you have had your children and you no longer need a maternity cover then you can move to another pro- product which gives you better coverage for that age so this you always have to keep reviewing your policies and moving to the right product so uh, ravi next question is uh, you know again something which we need to answer this is a more technical question from padmesh uh, ji he is uh, he is saying that my daughter has turned 19 and he is an hdfc ergo policy holder so he is saying that should i do i need to remove her from the family floater and take a new policy for her what's the right thing that we need to do so i think there there people have a lot of fallacies around this so it'll be good for you to clarify this see i mean uh, depending on the uh, depending on the product and the policy you know uh, children are covered typically up to age 25 uh, as long as you know, dependent children are covered up to age 25 typically i don't know which product that she has uh, but having uh, having said that you know uh, the faster that you can get people onto their own policy the better it is going to be. uh you know you may have a floater policy for example in your family uh and as the husband and wife for example grow older uh they might utilize that product more which which means effectively less coverage for the older child uh so i would always encourage that once somebody is an adult they should start their own policy and again the principle is that you know start start your policy as soon as you can when you're healthy and uh, you can buy a policy uh, india has got some of the cheapest rates for health insurance in the world uh, take get back to yeah so this is guys actually india is amongst the cheapest in the world and uh, so technically you need to buy an individual your own health insurance policy at the age of 24 or 25 depending on the company or when the person is started earning his own income but uh, so um, uh, your question is 19th you don't have to nine at the age of 19 you don't have to do it 
but if you feel the, you know it's time that you want the child to be independent and have the own individual policy so they can get the long term protections that a policy offers or just in case there is any ailment that comes up then it shouldn't get excluded so it's always better to move to an individual policy as earliest as possible but even but if you don't then till 24 25 till the the child is dependent on you you can continue to have the person in the in the same policy so also uh, there is a very interesting question from janvi which i would also like to know ravi is there is there any limits on the number of claims you can make in a year so this is something even i am not aware of so or in a health insurance uh, it depends on the policy it depends on the policy uh indemnity policies where essentially you get reimbursed for what you know uh you get paid what you have spent uh i'm not aware of any policies that have got a, a claim count limit uh and i think that, that would be some of some more of a disservice uh benefit policies do have limits where you can only use it once and it's you know once and done uh, because it pays you the entire benefit one check lump sum and then there's no coverage the policy is extinguished uh but on the on the indemnity side i'm not aware of any policies that would limit uh count of claims and uh generally to uh, the point is that uh in in any indemnity policy what happens from an insurance company's perspective is most people don't claim right because this is insurance is a, is a the concept is of pooling of risks right so everybody comes together puts in a little bit of money gives it to the insurance company and the insurance company then gives it you know to those people who need it the most and the insurance company charges some money for providing the service essentially that's what we do right now in that kind of scenario uh, when a few people are actually claiming uh, to put a limit on claims is somewhat of a disservice uh, because they are the ones who actually need it the most and then if you don't give them that then the entire concept of pooling of risks uh, kind of falls apart so i'm not aware of any policies and i don't i would be surprised if something like that came up as well so they are generally and these i'm not sure you're aware of anything something like that across the world but... no ravi i have seen this in a lot of uh, group insurance plans the uh, corporate plans because this can be done in order to reduce the uh, the cost a lot of group insurance plans sometimes do have that an employee cannot make a claim more than once or twice in a year so they are we have come across some plans but generally individual should not be there And, but in the, uh, i'm talking about your yeah, retail plans these are many times these are kind of hr department decisions to say <laughs> i know to, yeah. but yeah. individual plans may not be so ashok is asking mr ashok kumar is asking a question what is a good more good uh, coverage in the modern health insurance with all coverages including covid so ravi uh, which one would you like to recommend i would of course recommend optima secure uh, as, as a completely uh, impartial party i would say that it is the best product in the market today uh, and actually you should do the analysis and i hope you will come to the same conclusion but do the analysis as sanjeev said make sure you have the right advisor who will guide you for what is right for you uh, but on the point of covid though okay just to be clear all indemnity products in the country cover covid okay there is no uh, it's 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 quite unique actually because there are many markets around the world um where covid is not not covered in the in the private health insurance policies india is unusual uh, all across every company uh covid is covered uh in a standard indemnity product covid will not be covered for example in a critical illness uh benefit product which only covers certain illnesses or any specialized product which are only for specific illnesses but any general indemnity policy will cover covid okay uh so uh there's no uh, no uh, you don't have to worry about that uh, you also will not find a policy anywhere which covers everything all right mm -hmm. uh, that is not the purpose of insurance the purpose of insurance is to protect you from financial loss and to give you access to the best care uh, and so you need to look for policies that give you that solve those two problems uh, so you know uh, you it, it's fine if a, in my opinion it's fine that a policy doesn't pay you 200 rupees for your gp consultation because you had a headache and your insurance policy didn't pay for that it's fine you don't have a big financial loss uh, but you need to be sure that you have a policy that covers you know if you have a, a, a heart bypass surgery you need you know coverage there because there you'll have a financial loss so don't look for when you look for comprehensiveness 
uh, look for comprehensiveness in the parts that the policy covers itself. So what the policy covers, does it cover fully or does it cover partially? That's more important. COVID is covered by everybody. And as as all the data attests, uh, every insurance company has paid a lot of claims for COVID as well, including ourselves. Uh, Sanjeev talked about it before. Just to let you know, I mean, uh, you know, we we paid in Q in the first quarter of this year as much COVID claims as we paid all of last year. That was kind of the ferocity of wave uh, two. So yeah, yeah. So and everybody and else did. Most of the companies I know the life insurance figures. Most of the companies are at four hundred percent plus claims payout with vis a vis last year, and this is already the year is not over. So they have already paid yeah. four hundred percent more claims than they paid in the whole last year. So obviously there is a challenge, and that also tells ke guys please buy your <laughs> health insurance and term insurance. You need both, and please buy it. It is very very important. So uh, uh, Ashok ji, as your question just. The Optima Secure is a very good product. Uh, to be fair, I'll talk of, of a product from another company, which is Cigna Lifetime Health. is an amazing product where for what you were paying for a 10 lakh cover or you would probably get a 1 crore rupee cover. So that's a beautiful product. But then please go as per your need. Use Bajaj Capital's free health insurance analysis to understand what you need the cover for and which cover is better for you. So now there is a question, follow-up question from Chandan. He's saying that Optima Secure, mein, does it cover maternity? And just explain to me, how does a maternity cover work? Uh, so Optima Secure uh, does not cover maternity. So remember I said it covers 84% of cases. Uh, so part of the 16% was maternity. Um, it doesn't cover maternity. Uh, we have other products that cover maternity. Uh, and there are different ways that maternity works in the market. Uh, but typically, the way it works is that you you buy the policy, you'll have a waiting period, which is typically several years, uh, and and then you know, uh, and then you and then you have the coverage for it, whatever the coverage the policy particular policy provides. Uh, so it's reasonably straightforward, uh, but there is a waiting. So although guys, we are covering health insurance today, but there are a lot of people, Ravi, who is asking that question, that how does Ravi invest his money? Okay, so because uh, <laughs> so Ravi, I have to take that question. Uh, you know, I have to uh, and and guys who are asking what's the best way to get in the market today? See, please don't keep waiting for the market. I remember last time or last to last time people were asking and look what has happened to the Sensex. You know, it has gone up by almost ten percent, and people said it is overvalued. So just don't keep waiting on the sidelines. SIP is a very good way to get into the market by systematic investment planning. And there's never wrong time to start a SIP. Also, when you do a lump sum investment, again, I also believe that you can choose uh, products like Balance Advantage, which uh, do an auto allocation between equity and debt. Like uh, they go up to 80% equity when the markets are low and, you know, when the markets are high, they may come down to 30%. So these products do that for you. You don't have to do it. And or you can go for products like uh, flexi caps, which is uh, all equity. And you can go for uh, things like systematic transfer plan where you can say, okay, within I'll move into equity over three months, six months. But then that can hit you in the wrong way also. Like those people who opted for STP wouldn't have got the advantage of the market going up by 10%. So Ravi, what is your portfolio and how do you invest? Uh, well, I, I guess the correct answer is I give all my money to my wife and then she decides. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, uh, but more uh, to be more serious, I think it's a combination of things that you said. Right? I think uh, having a diverse portfolio is important. Um, so, you know, I've, I've tended to invest in, uh, in real estate, uh, as well as from, a, from very, very early, uh, you know, I started a SIP, uh, and that was very, very useful because it's the most, it's the most painless way to, uh, you know, to kind of invest, uh, right now, you know, I'm, uh, I'm looking more at ETFs. Uh, and I think that those are, uh, you know, those have worked well for me in the past. Uh, as well as you know various balanced funds and uh, bond market stock market but uh, combination of things but I think the the point is uh, to have a diverse portfolio to kind of uh, have experts manage it or help uh, get the help of experts to manage it uh, and uh, be patient 
right? I mean, I think Sanjeev, you're absolutely right. I mean, it's not it's not about timing the market. You know, it's it's not about buying high, selling low. Uh, it, it's it's just about staying invested. And I think history tells us that if you're staying invested in your patient. Uh, and uh, you know, are investing towards the goal. Uh, you know, typically things work out. That's been my experience. Yeah. So I think very well answered, Ravi. So everybody, see, there is no formula which is right for one person. You need to follow your own path. And my my only uh, submission to all of you is please learn about investing. Just don't start anything without having the knowledge. But just don't only depend on what you read. Or what you see, because you know today news makes investing like a one-day cricket or a T20 cricket, where you it's you feel that I have to take an action on every ball. You don't have to. So please learn about investing. We have a program called Be Fantastic, if it teaches you basic of investments. If you don't have, or use a wealth manager, because at the end of the day, investing is a long-term game. The wealth creation happens due to power of compounding. So for me personally, I am very fond of flexi caps. I am not, you know, too much into index funds. Index funds are also good, but I want the fund manager to be working for me, working hard, you know, giving me, bringing me alpha, you know, and and there are some very good people doing that, like uh, you know, the quant funds today, which have an active trading philosophy, have done very very well. So, you know, so point is that there is no right formula for everything and you need to keep uh, engaged with your wealth manager. Have a wealth manager that will add value to the amount of charges you are paying. You know, even if you save half a percent and it says that, okay, over 20 years you'll save this much. But you will also, if the wealth manager is doing a job, good job, then you ask him, okay, look, I'm, I would have saved this much. Tell me the kind of alpha you have created for me or the additional returns you have created uh, for me. So guys, uh, not taking any, because today our focus is on health insurance and we have to uh, come back to health insurance. There is also a lot of questions on how do non-network hospital claims happen, Ravi? Uh, can you explain that a little bit for our people, uh, viewers watching today? Sure. So, uh, I mean, look, I mean, the, the point of network claims is that it is very convenient. Uh, and so when you're choosing an insurance company, one is trying to choose a company that's got a large network. Now, if you have to have a reimbursement claim, uh, different companies have got different uh, ways of doing it. I can tell you, you know, from our perspective, it's very simple. You, know, you go to our website, log in, uh, and register the claim, upload the documents. Everything is electronic. There's no paper to be sent. Uh, and, you know, we, we just handle it. Uh, so actually, it's pretty straightforward. Other companies may have slightly more paper-driven processes, et cetera, so I can't really comment on their processes. Uh, but again, I think you know, digitized processes uh, have a lot uh, going for them, especially because now you, know, you get a lot of the material from the hospital that you need to give to the insurance company, also in digitized formats, whether it's the reports, whether it's the discharge summary, whether it's the receipts, all those, are, you anyway get you know, the email to you. So it's much simpler to just email it on to the insurance company and uh, and make a claim. So in HDS Yogos, uh example, you would, if you, you know, you can go to our website, you can go to say Bajaj Capital, if you have bought your policies through them. As Sanjeev said, they've got a fantastic claims team that will then handle everything for you. Uh, if you, or you can you know, send it to us on, go to our, our website, put it up there and uh, we'll, we'll take it forward. It's not a, it's not problematic. Uh, you know, as much as people think uh, that it is, I think things have become quite easy, especially with digitized uh, with digitization. And I think that's one of the things that COVID taught us. Because before COVID, a lot of claims were paper, paper, paper. And because of COVID, and when nobody wants to touch paper, uh, every company has been forced to digitize their journey. Some like us maybe are a little bit ahead of others, but I think that process that I'm describing is going to be largely the same across uh, across all insurance companies. Yeah. So uh, guys, and, you know, have your advisor with you. Yeah. So just adding on, Ravi, unless you have gone to a very low end hospital, most of these hospitals do have a claim desk who do this service for you. So they have the link to all the insurance companies portals, and they should be the one who's uploading your claim for you. So just please, please make sure that you get the hospital to do it for you. And which almost 90 to 95 percent of the hospitals will do that. That will avoid you missing something because that guy is doing it day in, day out. 
ठीक है अदर थिंग इज जस्ट गो टू द इंश्योरेंस कंपनी वेबसाइट अपलोड एवरी थिंग देयर एंड देन इफ यू आर यूजिंग बजाज कैपिटल देन गेट इन टच विद बजाज कैपिटल सो दे कैन डू द फॉलो अप बट इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट दैट फर्स्ट ट्राई टू गो टू अप हॉस्पिटल विच इज इन नेटवर्क If you have to go to a non-network hospital, then tell them to help you with the claim, and most of these guys will do will will be able to help you there. And please, also important is that please upload all the documents properly. And it is very very important. It's most of the time the problem happens people lose the documents, and here the originals are required. The original scans are required, so you have to be careful with the documents. And please file the claim ASAP. Don't wait. there is also a condition that in case you are going to a non network hospital you can't wait for a person to come out you need to intimate the claim to an insurance company saying that this claim has happened i will be filing it so that intimation needs to go on time so these are some things that you need to keep in mind so uh, also rakesh one thing sorry uh, sandeep i just add one more thing to that is that uh, if you for any reason are going to a good hospital and of course you choose a good hospital which happens to not be in the insurance company's panel if you are with a, a large company which has got kind of enough uh, should i say market muscle uh, call them and see if your hospital can be added to the network uh, you know we have had cases where we add hospitals to a network uh, for just a single case we don't do a network deal with them we just send them a letter of guarantee saying that this person is covered with us if you send me the bill we will pay and because in our case for example coming from hcfc The hospital says, "Yeah, fine. I mean, HCFC is going to pay my bill, and it makes it easy for you." So do that as well. Yeah, and also, Ravi, I think we need to explain about intimation of a claim. Now, a lot of people yeah. face a problem because they don't know about intimation. So, if you can just talk about that. Sure. So, look, I mean, uh, one of the key parts of all policies is something called pre-authorization or intimation. Right. So if you're going for a surgery, uh, you need to inform, or if you're, if you're going to have a claim or a medical bill, uh, you need to inform or intimate the insurance company before you submit the claim, and ideally before you have the procedure itself. Now, typically, this is meant to happen some days before. In reality, what happens is that people do it just when they're kind of in the hospital. That's fine. We've kind of all companies have kind of arranged their processes to cater for that. but it is important for you to intimate because what happens is that once you once a claim has been intimated then the company uh you know in the back end we kind of set up our processes to make sure that when your claim comes we can review it quickly and pay you fast uh and also if it comes uh, comes to, uh, sort of as a surprise one is it's likely that there will be a delay secondly is that you know those claims because all these things at least you know in companies of 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 that are large uh all these claims go through you know a machine learning artificial intelligence algorithm and typically the algorithm will say that if there was no intimation there is a higher risk of fraud so this claim gets investigated and which if a claim is fine of course it will get paid but it just again causes delays right so uh please intimate your claim it's very simple you know you different different companies you can have different processes you can send for in our case for example uh you can send us a whatsapp uh you can you can email us you can call us uh you know and just say and just tell us that hey you know i'm your i'm your i'm covered and i'm going for this surgery in this hospital tomorrow and that's all you need to do nothing more than that uh but please do do that uh, make sure that it helps me it, it helps us pay your claim fast yeah and ravi lot to cover so let's uh, we, we have to do it quickly now this is sure. again a very interesting question uh, if you can answer it very quickly is that people are saying like lot of these uh, new age coverers provide a health checkup so but when you are family buying a family floater does it provide a health checkup only for the uh, main guy or does it provide the health checkup for the whole family um most policies would cover would provide health checkup for the whole family uh, i can't speak for the entire market uh but in our products we would provide health checkup for each member of our family covered in it and i think that that would be reasonably standard yeah and we are also but getting again, a lot please check your own policy wordings to confirm yeah so guys there is no standard uh, policy wording so every policy is slightly different and it's aimed to cover some different things so you have to be slightly careful but uh, typically the health checkups that are provided in the products are because your premium is also getting charged on number of individuals so you know as a basic philosophy health checkup should be there for all 
and we had also picked up the maternity things like you know if you need maternity and you're going to have a baby maternity coverage means that which is the claim which is going to be made for the child that is going to be born first 9 month is not included or 12 months is not included because you can't buy a maternity coverage when the person is already pregnant so generally most of the policies will have a 9 month to a 12 month exclusion all companies have products which are designed for younger people who do cover these and if you are younger and you are planning to have children one or two children it's better to buy a maternity cover and what it will cover is the cost of the child birth up to certain limits and conditions but the bigger advantage you get it covers the uh, the cost of the baby in case there is some issues or complications so most of the maternity covers will provide a coverage for that so it is very important that if you are in a child bearing age or lesser than that and you are planning to have children in the future then your health insurance should must cover maternity because you know you can go very very wrong in some of the cases and you also have to look at things like will it cover premature birth of the baby or not and uh, you know if the baby has any issue what is the kind of coverage that you will get so you need to clarify this with your health insurance advisor like bajaj capital give it in writing look this is what i want get a answer in writing that your product is covering this or not covering this and it is important because you can always get the right experience only when you demand for it also there is a lot of questions on travel insurance uh, so let me i know we are running a bit short of time so ravi i will just answer guys if you are traveling frequently the best way to get a good travel insurance is to buy an annual plan and these annual plans are much cheaper than buying these uh, per trip covers if you are only traveling once a year then one or one trip is fine but if you take more than two or three trips in a year buy an annual travel insurance plans there the only thing you have to check is the amount the total sum insured and what your per trip coverage is for 45 days 60 days or 90 days so you take a decision if your parents are senior citizens going and you're going abroad for almost 6 months then you need to buy different plans so this this is basic on travel so since we are traveling talking about travel ravi there is a plan another very innovative plan created by hdfc ergo which is virtually not available with any other company only i think care has a product which gives a true international coverage where you can buy a health insurance where you can choose to go anywhere in the world and it's a very unique plan i know given very exclusively so just tell us a little bit about that plan and what is it about and why is it important for those people who can afford it to have that plan Sure. Uh, and if so you the health insurance are global, guys, plan, you don't need uh, to have travel insurance. The <laughs> <laughs> uh, so health insurance global plan, as you said, uh, you know, provides global coverage and uh, on an elective basis, which makes it uh, unusual. Uh, and it's for those people who either may travel frequently and uh, get sick, and also for those who wish to go abroad for treatment. Uh, you know, a lot. There's been a lot of progress in India for treatment. uh but there are still some con- conditions particularly some really advanced cancers and things like this um where you know one feels that the treatment protocols in let's say the US uh, is better than what is currently available in, in India uh perhaps including some you know uh, newer more modern techniques and so on uh so for those customers who want that coverage and who can afford it it is as you know uh, an expensive plan uh because the cost of treatment in those countries is not much more expensive so we have to kind of cover for that uh and uh this is a niche product uh and sold at the moment by invitation uh and i know that you and i have been discussing about how to make that a bit broader uh and hopefully we will uh, in the meanwhile though one uh, one other plug for uh, super for secure and uh one of the variants in that product for super secure it, it's got a nice uh, additional feature in it which is the we have a global panel uh for second medical opinion uh e opinion right so it's completely done virtually you don't have to fly somewhere uh, if somebody's got something here there's a panel of the top hospitals across the US and UK etc where you can consult with those doctors and so on so it's a it's one way to get some of that benefit but if you really want the full blown effect then yeah you have to buy this product and uh it is expensive and uh yeah uh but it's it's worth it it's i that, that's the product i have Yeah, yeah. So in fact, uh, so guys, that's a product where you you uh, let me give you a ballpark figure. Your premium would for the family would be in the range of two to four lakh rupees. 
but you have an option to go abroad for any treatment you want. So you can go to the best hospital in the world. The coverage would be typically anything between two to three crore rupees. And you can choose to go anywhere. And this is especially important to those people who are traveling abroad a lot. Because you may be sitting in US for three months and if something happens, you need to get a treatment. You can't sometimes, a lot of times, afford to come back. You may get a coverage in uh, travel insurance, but travel insurance doesn't cover things that you are already carrying from India. So they, there can be some issues with the travel insurance, but uh, they, are, they are people who want the very best. So there are two ways to get it. One is that uh, one is this plan where for any treatment, it's totally option. And HDFC, as I said, is the, one of the only companies to have it. Uh, Care has, has, is another plan. These are the only two companies who offer that product. Very exclusive. If you can afford it, then you must have it. And the second is that there are other companies which give you international global coverage for critical illnesses. Now, this is today available as a rider. I know Ravi launched it in, uh, in Apollo and at a very cheap, very economical price. So point is, that's also a great rider for because you will only go abroad for coverage for a very critical cancer or some other thing. So for about 15, 20, 30, depending on companies, you um, the conditions, you can go anywhere in the world and your coverage is up to half a million or a million dollars, depending on what the sum insured you have chosen. So in case uh, somebody has a very critical cancer, which doesn't have a great treatment in India, then you can choose to go to the best this thing and it's always good if you can afford it buy it and these uh, covers have become very very cheap so like uh, the product i had told you from a competing company this this product is very very cheap in lifetime health and ravi i think you also have some uh, good uh, riders for this if you can just tell a little bit a little bit about global coverage riders yeah, so as you said, I mean, so the, it provides coverage for critical illnesses uh, if you are, you know, if you are abroad, and it provides higher coverage. So if you buy it in India, there is certain coverage you get, or if you use the coverage, if you take treatment abroad, there is higher money that you have paid uh, because uh, the cost again uh, of treatment in those countries is, is high. Uh, but we are, you know, we are seeing sort of some increasing demand for these kind of these type of products, uh, and uh, I would only say, Sajeev, so uh, stay tuned. And uh, hopefully we'll have something that we can share with you. Yeah. So, guys, I know there's so many questions. And Ravi, I think we'll have to do this. And we were not able to get into you as an individual. What what, what are the things that have made you succeed? A lot of people want to be, you know, presidents in company, but they are not able to make it. I know we have to do another show on this. And uh, there are a lot of people who are saying that. Uh, so, guys, let me just tell you the global coverage that we told about, which is unconditional, is only available with uh, with HDFC and Care, as to my information. Tata and others are having, uh, you know, uh, sort of riders for uh, limited coverage for critical illness, where you have to take a pre-authorization. And uh, yes, Bajaj Capital does offer these uh, products. So, if you need any information, you can ask on this so one last question and which is ravi i you know i have to ask uh, this question that you know so many people want to be leaders so many people want to be presidents in a company what are the ethos or what are the things that a person needs to do to be able to reach this level in an organization or as a professional so what would you tell i know we have a lot of students watching us today what would you know and when they are young professionals what would you like to tell them um, a lot of things. Uh, I think uh, the first thing is be patient. Uh, one of the things that I see is, you know, a lot of young, youngsters um, want to, you know, go to the next level now, go to the next level now, go to the next level now. Uh, you know, yeah, uh, that's fine. But then be patient. And when I'm saying be patient, I mean patient with yourself. Right? Give yourself the time to learn. Give yourself the time to develop skills. Uh, figure out what are the skills that you know uh, that you need to that you need to have. Uh, you know, one of the things that uh, somebody said is that uh, you know it is it is a company's job uh, to get the most value from you, and it is your job to make yourself most valuable to the market, right? Uh, and so, what are the skills that you're learning? What are the skills that you're developing? Uh, it's very important, in my experience, to be curious. 
you know, uh, to always learn about your industry, learn about your market, learn about what's happening, not just in the industry, but also kind of around and everything that is connected to it. Uh, figure out what areas you can work on and develop your own skills. Um, don't think about just your own job, but think about what value you're adding to the company because the, the company is looking to get the most value from you. So if the company is getting more value from you, you know, you're going to progress. Uh, and at the same time, you're also going to become more marketable. Uh, and having self-confidence, I think, is very important and can be difficult sometimes. But having confidence in yourself, your own abilities, your own skills is important. And one thing that I always tell people is that uh, a lot of time people think that the way to develop is to uh, understand what the weaknesses are and try to fix those weaknesses. And I think that that is completely wrong. I think that the answer is to figure out what your strengths are and make those superpowers. Be really, really, really good at something. Uh, and, you know, because a company is made up of never an individual. It's always people. And if, if 10 people come with 10 different superpowers, then the company is going to do really well. But from your own perspective, be really, really good at something. Be known for something. Uh, I think that's very important as opposed to trying to f f spend time improving weaknesses, Im spend time building on your existing skills. So everybody's personal. So that's an amazing answer. This 80-20 principle hota hai, that 20% of the clients give you 80% of the margin and 20% of your strength give you 80% of your growth. So rather than trying to spend time on 80% of the weaknesses and trying to improve upon them, why not make your 20% strength super strengths that give you growth? So I think, Ravi, that's a great, great uh, takeaway for everybody who was watching to today. And if we can implement it in our life, it is very, very important. So guys, uh, please uh, do ask your questions. We'll try to make sure all your questions are answered. Bajaj Capital, let me explain. A lot of people are asking this question. Is a broker. So as an insurance broker, we can provide you any product from any company. And our aim is to represent you, help you get the best term insurance or health insurance. So for us, we are not bound to one company. We have to understand your need and we will get you a product that is right for you. So point is, guys, so there is no one product which is the best. There is no one mutual fund is the best. It is what works for you. It is which health insurance works for you as per the need. Like we made an example. If you are in your 20s and you're going to have a child, then you need to buy a product which is going to cover maternity. If you are in your 35, 40, you have already had your children, then you need a different coverage. Then probably an Optima Secure is an amazing plan for you. So, you know, it, it, it all depends on you. So please do go ahead, ask your question. If you want to email, email them at care at bajajcapital.com or use the Google Forms. The reason we want asking you to ask questions using the Google Forms is so that we can ensure we can answer all this question. So guys, thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Ravi, for being here. I think a very highly informative session and, uh, you know, I think uh, inside a minute, so thank you a lot uh, for being with us. And and I'm sure people learned a lot about health insurance today. Thank you so much, Sanjeev. Thank you very much for having me. Yeah. All the thank best to everybody. everybody. Yeah, Good. thanks. Bye.